continue. This is Father Vogel. We continue St. John Baptiste de la Salle's meditations in time of retreat for our teachers. We are in second meditation, which is about the means of those responsible for the education of children must use to procure their salvation. We are at the third point that he makes. He says, to bring the children whom you instruct to take on the Christian spirit, you must teach them the practices, the practical truths of faith in Christ Jesus and the maxim of the Holy Gospels, at least with as much care as you teach the truths that are purely theoretical. So he's pointing out that there are in our faith those things about it that are theoretical as well as more theoretical and those that are practical. Um, not that anything in the faith is a theory in the scientific sense that you know it's not a hundred percent proven um, but what he means is the theoretical are those truths that are foundational but not the specific and the practical ones are the ones that affect directly the actions that we do so like the moral teachings would be those that are practical whereas the theoretical ones are the kind of foundational doctrinal ones. So he says, It is true that a number of doctrines are absolutely necess necessary to know in order to be saved, but what would it serve to know them if we did not take the trouble to practice the good to which we are bound? So obviously it's really important to know that you know God is three persons, or that Jesus is both God and man, or that... The, the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin. All of those things are incredibly important to know, but just knowing those truths don't automatically lead us to understand what we should do, how we should live. So obviously they do affect how we should live, but those are where the practical moral teachings expand and help us to understand in a greater way. So he says, faith, St. James says, without good works is dead. St. Paul also says, if we knew all the mysteries and had full knowledge and all the faith such that I can move mountains from one place to another, but have not charity, that is sanctifying grace, I am nothing. So if you have all faith and you know all of these things, but you don't live them out, then you're not really living completely as a Christian. So you can't limit yourself in, in that way. So we need to teach those parts of the faith to our children as well, not just the doctrinal ones. Is your main care then to instruct your disciples in the maxims of the Holy Gospel and the practice of the Christian virtues? Have you anything more at heart than helping them find their happiness in these practices? Do you regard the good you are doing to achieve in them as the foundation of all the good they will practice for the rest of their life. The habits of virtue that are cultivated during youth encounter less resistance in corrupt nature and form the deepest roots and hearts of those whom they have been formed. So we want to speak of the doctrinal truths of the faith, but we also need to speak of the moral life as well. And those are things that are going to build up habits for our children for the rest of their life. So for our teachers who may be your main goal or your main uh, uh, focus in your teaching is not directly teaching the catechism, uh, teaching things of the faith, you still bring moral lessons into your teaching of all other subjects. You know, whether you're studying history and you can evaluate from a Christian perspective historical events that go on or whether you're studying, you know, or uh, any kind of classroom where there's, you know, moments where you have to uh, um, correct or discipline. Those are moment, moments to in continue to instill in our children uh, how to live in a way that is a disciple of Christ. Then he says, if you want the instructions you give to those whom you have to instruct to be effective and in drawing them to the practice of good, 
you must practice these truths. You must be full of zeal so that your students may be able to receive a share in the grace that is in you for doing good. And your zeal may draw down on you the spirit of God to inspire your students in the same way. So this speaks to if we are trying to instill uh, virtues in our children, we ourselves have to develop those virtues within ourselves. Uh, that way they can, I mean, children can pick up on that kind of disconnect. If we ourselves are failing to live out the faith, then uh, they won't, or they will, they'll be able to see that. If we want to truly be able to, with great energy, uh, instruct them in this way, uh, we cannot fail to live out the faith practically ourselves. God bless.